Hey guys, welcome back to the Game Replay. I'm Dave the Usher. The game we're playing is Final Fantasy X-2 HD Remastered for the Sony PlayStation 3. Want to check the comms spheres? Yes, I do. In fact, we're going to be doing a lot of comms sphere network stuff. The comms sphere network. It's like Spear is internet? Kinda, in a way, yeah. I mean, you know, we're using computers to view things around the world. So let's see, folks, where were we? Okay, we just finished up with Guado Salam, and now we are off to check things out at the Thunder Plains. Yeah, there are about three things to do here at the Thunder Plains, and only one gives you a little bit of the percentage, that being the first one. So let's go check it out and do what we gotta do. Yeah, a couple of uh, quick stops, and then there's gonna be a couple of long stops. I feel like there's probably gonna be two more Comsphere vids total. Like, total videos of nothing but Comsphere. And... So here we are at the Thunder Plains. Yep, it's raining. It's lightning. It's thundering. There's a chocobo. A chocobo. Want to catch it? You can do that? Yes, with my latest invention, the Choco Porter. Choco Portation successful? What the hell was that? Okay, so that's it, folks. And that was a success. That gave us a little bit of the percentage. Yeah, that was the important one. There's really actually nothing more to do here, but we can come back, see a couple things. Yeah. Uh... The Choco Porter? That, that's weird, man. Uh, I feel like that's a little bit too nutty and too silly, even for Final Fantasy X games, right? Err? Uh -huh. Maybe another chocobo? We'll see. What happened? Uh, the choco porters on the fritz? Oh dear. Um... What if, like, the bird was, like, cut in half by the the rip of the Choco Porter and, like, the thing just, like, was a steaming, like, flaming, bloody, like, gory mess. Like, something blew up. I don't know. They should have done that. Oh, man. Viewing all the Thunder Plains scenes now. So much stuff to see. It's fun. It's silly. Ah, on the fritz again. Come on, Shinra. Come on, whiz kid. And this is all for here. This is all you can do. Nothing interesting. Nothing of interest is left. Okay, off to the next place. We are going to the Makalania Woods entrance. I have a couple things to say real quick. Okay, so, the Makalania Woods. Who's there? The Guado. Remember, the Guado are worn with the uh, the Ronso. Now, if I did a bad job, folks, during the last couple chapters, you know, telling the Ronso to chill out or, you know, giving the incorrect answers to the Ronso when they asked me stuff, if I did bad, they'd be marching on over. I would be viewing the spheres here, the comm spheres, and we would witness the Ronso marching over to the Makalani woods and, like, there'd be a battle against the Guado. Yeah, man, it's like a war march. I remember doing that only during one playthrough, and I remember seeing it, and I was like, oh, man, this is crazy. But because I did a good job, 
Uh, I think there's probably only two scenes instead of four at the Makalania Woods. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, let's see. Where should I go then first? Um... I will go to the uh, the woods entrance, yeah, before the travel agency. So yeah, I persuaded the Ronso not to do war. So because of that, then what's going to be going on here? And I will also say that right now there's only one important scene for some percentage, and I believe that's the first one here at the Maklonia Woods entrance. sleeping quite happily when we had a peculiar dream. During our sleep, the faith did speak. A spear shakes, churns and spins. A fearsome power lies within. Now it's gone and sucked us in. This horrid dream, what could it mean? The faith that protected Spira are not immune to the forces of destruction. These woods, too, will perish, and we along with them. You three need to learn a new song. Because you've been playing that one for a whole game now. I'm tired of hearing it. Yeah, the woods disappear and change. Learn a new song, adapt, evolve, or perish. Perish would be fine. Go ahead, perish. So that gave me a little percentage. So there would be two more if I did not pursue if I did not persuade the Ronso uh, to not make war. But they're not gonna be doing that, so there's only one more scene to witness here at the Makalanio Woods entrance. You know, this doesn't really look like a good conversation. So you're, it looks like you're talking at that Guado with the Guado's back to you. Uh, is that Guado mad at you? Doesn't seem like a good conversation. So I believe this will repeat. I am of course going to, I have to find out and just make sure to confirm this. Yeah, that's all. Okay, folks, on to the next Makalania um, comm sphere. This is at the travel agency. Uh, I can get into this a little bit, too. Um, this could have gone down differently, depending on uh, Awaka, like, paying off his debt and not paying off his debt and, like, turning him over to the uh, the Albed at the, uh, the travel agency. You know, that would have affected things. Uh, so depending on how you do it, well, let's just say there's going to be like several uh, viewings here. Only one uh, counts for some of the percentage, and uh, I'll let you know when that happens. But for now, why don't we go check it out? Just you watch, I'll be bigger than Vin. 
All the travel agencies in Spira will be operating under the name of Ovoca. Who closed the door? How did the door close? It's things like that I wonder about. Okay, so that was the important scene. I freed Owaka, I didn't turn him in, you know, took care of his debt. Uh, so that's the important scene. Uh, that is the only important scene, actually. Any other scene, uh, depending on, you know, what path you choose, won't give you any percentage, so that's the only one anyway. It's the only one you gotta worry about. But there are a couple more uh, things we can view here, just because, you know. So I will go back to the travel agency a couple times, of course. See everything we can possibly see. I miss going down over in, you know, that way. That place. Uh -huh. Oh, Waka! Merchant extraordinaire! What's wrong? Another day, and still no customers. Once again, how did that door close? I, I, I just don't know. Okay, we can go back here. We can go here a bunch of times, man, let me tell you. Uh, okay. It's nice to see Owaka. It's nice chatting with him. I've always liked Owaka. Yeah, he, he's been... He was a really cool character for the Final Fantasy X series. I, uh... I dig him. Already been a year since he left. Well, who could Owaka be talking about once? Have we seen once in Final Fantasy X too? It was like a minor-ish character in X. You know, we've seen like every minor character from X cross back over here, you know, that, that's still alive. But not once, I think. Hmm, what's up with that? Yeah, we still have yet to see once. I'm sure it'll pop up sooner or later. Let me guess. You're about to come out of your house, Owaka? Yeah, I totally dig Owaka way more than Chocolina. No, don't you say. Owaka's open for business! Oh, what's a point? I'm not sure if he comes back out, but yeah, he will, uh, he will pitch a couple of things, like a walk is open for business. I think he will also say something in our bed. Could be a couple of others. But yeah, I've always liked Owaka. He was like, he was very necessary for us in Final Fantasy X because he was that merchant. The one that was always there along our journey, along our path. Kind of convenient, but also fun as well. Uh, it's more than I can say for other item people that were along the ride uh, during our journeys in Final Fantasy games. <laughs> Final Fantasy XIII, Chocolina, yeah, don't even get me started. I really think they did a good job with Owaka. Yeah. I never found him annoying. Kima, Peck, Conjula, Yeet, we know Owaka! Uh, he is Vinawexum. Peace off. Sorry, Bray. I'm not even gonna let you close the door, or whatever closes the door. Maybe it's like some kind of automatic trigger thing. How would that even work? I don't know. 
Yeah, we're going back here. There is a lot to do here. There really is. Hopefully he doesn't have too many more pitches, actually. I mean, one pitch per viewing. It should be like all the pitchings in one viewing. Like, we shouldn't break it up. You know, there was the all bad one like I talked about. Hopefully that's it. Let's just see the next different kind of scene that, that happens here. Give me something different. Give me something new. I've always liked the Makalania section of Final Fantasy X. Hello? Hmm. Do I hear footsteps? <laughs> I no, no, I don't. Man, I'm hearing things. Uh, okay, come on, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Be patient, be patient. Zoom in, zoom out. Come on! What's going on here? Oh! Well, look who it is. Ugh, it's hard to come home like this after a whole year being away. I wonder if my brother's still upset. What is he doing? Uh, Awaka, you've been coming out of your hut. Now's a good time to do it. I believe that's it, folks. Alright, well, finally, we've seen Wants. Looks like he showed up sooner rather than later. Okay, and that's pretty much the big stuff. Uh, the rest is pretty much fiends attacking the travel agency. What's their problem? Oh. Hello. You're going over there, huh? What are these dudes' problem? What is this fiends' deal? Thought there was supposed to be a second fiend. I don't see him. All right, well that's all. Uh, we can come back. We can see a couple more fiends, but I'm not. Gonna, of course, I'm gonna do it. I have to. Okay. And no, for no percentage. I only told you there was the one important scene. <laughs> You know, sometimes my little helper guide here isn't totally accurate. So now the travel agency is deserted. Maybe, maybe some of it's random sometimes. You know, the pointless stuff, the semi-pointless stuff. So we'll check in one more time, and then I'm gonna move on to our next area. Uh, is that gonna be, what is that gonna be? Uh, Beacon El Desert, ooh. Yeah, we'll go there soon. But yeah, one more time, just because. Yeah, Beacon El Desert, not too much going on there. Uh, couple things, only one for some percentage. Getting ahead of myself. Yeah, if I, if I come back again and again, there might be another fiend attacking, this and that, but that's it. Nothing or just a fiend. Man, what if... What if it, there was like a million things to, to watch? Like 20-some things, 30, 50 different types of things. That'd be pretty crazy. After all, we are like viewing life, life in Spira, you know? The clock is always ticking, it's always going. Imagine the countless hours you could add to this game with just viewing stuff. Uh, no, oh, wait. 
Ugh. You gotta... Yeah, I commented on that. You have to go all the way and then hit the cancel button. Okay, anyway, folks. Beacon all desert. Uh, let's see. I guess I'll go to the, uh... Yeah, excavation camp first. And we're gonna view a scene. This is the only important one that we're gonna view first for percentage. So let's check it out. It's probably gonna have to do with what's her name, Nadala. And she'll go bleep bloop, and the all bed will go blop bleep. And there you go. Uh, yeah, you're telling me that became more than apparent and obvious when we were down in the gorge and went back to the stolen faith chamber place. <laughs> God, the whiners! Uh, I, I only want to be in a group of four, and I have to be first in line. Shut up! All right, it's okay. It's okay. Calm down. So we can go back here. Uh, I believe at this point now, the workers are just going to be working. And then we can go check out the Cactar Nation. That'll be fun. You can talk to the cactuses. So, uh... The doll is gone, it seems, at this point. And, uh... The guy who looks like Nidus? Uh... Multiplied <laughs> is just searching the, the desert. And that's all. That was his name in Final Fantasy X. Because you could recruit him for a Blitzball. So off to the Cactar Nation. What if we just came by the Cactar Nation with a big old saw? And I mean, what would they do to stop us? Seems like the little dudes have, you know, more power than the old cactus things. Uh, you know, why are, why am I having a conversation about this? I, okay, it's ridiculous. Why are we... Don't talk about it. Let's go talk with them now! Cactuses! The hell? Marnola? Marnola, is that you? This is hopeless without Benzo. This is freaking me out. So we can go back one more time, but it is next to useless because the cactuses will not be talking to us. I think they just stand silent. I think they just, they, they stand, they stand around. All right, that's great. I guess you can hear them make their cactus noises because cactus make noise. Uh, hey folks, have you ever like stepped on a cactus or like got like, you know, pricked by a cactus, any kind of cactus injury. I myself have not, ever. I have never injured myself in any kind of cactus activity. If you guys have, hey, 
Let me know. Leave me a comment. Okay. Oh, dear. Next stop is Bavel. Okay, this can go a couple of ways, of course. Uh, depending on if you give that sphere way back in the beginning of the game to the Youth League or to New Yevon. I gave my sphere because I wanted to take a shot at getting 100%, and that's, the only, and that's the only way you can go about it, is giving the sphere to the Youth League. So now the people at Bavel are going to be grouchy grumpy, I'm sure. Let's see uh, how bitter they're gonna be about it still. Yeah, that decision really plays out through like pretty much the whole game, doesn't it? Ah! Must be camera shy. Uh, yep, so they're bitter, they're pissed. Uh, okay, I can give you guys a couple of little tidbits here. If I, uh, if I gave the stolen sphere to uh, New Yevon, uh, there would have been that captain, he would have been standing there with guards and basically would have been barking orders um, and like scolding them because apparently uh, Maroda got away from New Yevon. How about that? Uh, another scene that happens there, remember the Kinder Guardians? Well, they would have been just running around and acting like kids. Uh, and then there was actually one for a little bit of the percentage. The Kinder Guardians would be admiring the comm sphere, and they would actually have a couple of lines of dialogue with Shinra. I don't believe that happens now because the comm sphere was shot out. Other than that, the high bridge right there and Bavel will just be empty. Um, so yeah, even though you lose out on a little percentage in the, uh, you know, given the sphere to New Yevon, you'll lose out a little, but I think you gain more. You, you get back more by giving it to the Youth League, and that's why you would want to side with the Youth League on a first playthrough so you can get the most percentage you can. Eh, I'm just gonna go there again, just to see, just in case. See what happens, if anything. But yeah, I don't think we get to see the Kinder Guardians doing anything. It's just the same guy walking by again. Same guy! Oh, man. Uh, okay, so up next we have the Calmlands, Mount Gagazet. And the Xanarkin Ruins. Um, let's see. It doesn't seem like a lot, but I'm going to tell you, folks. Uh, this can take a while. Remember, let's see. We had two locations set up for our comm sphere in the Comlands, Mount Gagazet. Uh, I can't recall. I can't recall Xanarkin either. Eh. Well, we're going to find out, but uh, I'm not going to do any more of the uh, comm sphere stuff right now. Right this, right this second here. Uh, Pain? Something about the way you say, I want to do something, really packs a punch. I will not rest until all of Spira is a slave for you and your dancing. If we asked Hoagly, I'm sure he'd say, yup, yup, in a second. That's right, folks, we are supposed to go and see Tobley. Uh, might be t it might be that time again for Yuna to be putting on another show So that could be interesting, but that's not gonna be happening in this chapter And that's definitely not gonna be happening yet as I got a lot of comm sphere stuff To uh, to explore still and to check out awesome stuff I'm just uh, getting ready because I'm just uh, dawdling a little bit here folks because I'm about to call it a wrap good stuff Oof, man that comm sphere stuff and uh, even after I go through all the stuff, all the locations, one time, we get to go through them all again, another time, a second time, a little on later. 
But uh, we'll get to all that later on, of course, folks. For now, I'm going to call it a wrap right here. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Of course, leave me those comments. Tell me what you think. Don't forget, folks, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter. Links in the description. I'm Dave the Usher for the Game Replay. Stay tuned for the next part of Final Fantasy X-2 HD Remaster. I will see you guys next time. I am out.